Wondering which certifications can make your DevOps resume stand out and get noticed by top employers? Well, you are at the right place. Whether you are just starting your career in DevOps or looking to take your career in DevOps to the next level, I have got a simple roadmap for you. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into a topic that often sparks a lot of discussion in the tech world, certification. I will address common questions like why certifications, do they really add value to your career or are they just another industry hype? I will share tips on selecting the right certifications and guide you through must have and good to have options for beginners and professionals. We will also touch on certifications to avoid in 2020. Stick around as I have got some insight to share from my own industry experience. Please hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more valuable content. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Before we jump into specifics of DevOps certifications, let's address the fundamental questions. Why pursue certification? Are they genuinely useful? Let's get these questions out of the way to better understand the importance and impact of certification in your professional path. Certifications are beneficial as they offer a structured path for acquiring in-depth knowledge and skills, ensuring that individuals become proficient. Let me elaborate. Think of a certification as your travel guide for navigating a new city or country. When you travel with a guide, they have carefully planned your itinerary, ensuring you cover the major attractions efficiently. It's like you having a roadmap that takes you from one point of interest to another, saving you time, efforts while making sure you don't miss the key places. Now compare that to wandering without a plan. Going without a plan is like exploring a new destination without a guide you might see some interesting spots but you could miss out on significant attractions waste time going in circles and might not get full experience a certification agenda acts as a dedicated travel guide for your learning offering a structured plan that guides you through essential knowledge skills step by step Similar to a travel guide ensuring you efficiently cover main attraction in a new city, a certification agenda helps you navigate the key aspects of a field. It introduces you with features, functionality, possibilities, best practices, as well as limitations, ensuring a comprehensive understanding. Some certifications not only teach you technical skills, but also focus on cultivating a strategic mindset. They train us to consider various aspects and factors while designing system or making the technology choices. This approach promotes a comprehensive and reflective method for solving problems and making decisions crucial for addressing complex challenges in technology. That being said, relying completely on certification isn't sufficient to be considered an expert or tackle real world work problems unless you complement it with hands-on experience. Certification alone may not serve as a definitive proof of one's expertise. However, when combined with real experience, certification becomes a valuable confirmation of your skills, enhancing credibility and marketability. The balance of practical knowledge and formal certification is the key to establish yourself as a proficient professional in your field. It's important to note that I'm not suggesting you should pursue certification for every tool or technology you have worked on. The focus is on strategic and relevant certifications that will add value to your skills and help you level up in your professional journey. There are many certifications available for DevOps engineers. Certification require investment of time, money and space on your resume. So it's important to carefully and selectively decide which certifications to opt for. It's not about collecting certificates for sake of it, but making intentional choice that align with your career goal and enhance your capabilities in meaningful ways. It's important to recognize that at some level, certifications can become an industry hype. Therefore, it's crucial to be thoughtful when choosing which certification to pursue. The aim should be always on value addition to your skills, 
skills validation and career advancement. Now that we have recognized the importance of making strategic choices in certification, let me share some ideas with you. I won't overwhelm you with long list. I will keep it simple, providing a minimal set of certification options categorized as must have, nice to have and not needed. These are the most basic yet incredibly useful certifications for DevOps. They will not only enhance your resume, but also add significant value to your skill set, whether you are just getting started or looking to level up in DevOps. The good news is on my must have list of DevOps certifications for 2023, there is only one category and that's cloud certification. If you were to ask me which single certification is crucial in 2023, my straightforward answer would be a cloud certification. And this is the only must have certificate in my perspective. Big companies like AWS, Google, Microsoft offer certifications. You can pick any of them based on what you like or what matches your career trends and goals. Here I'm using AWS as an example, because according to Gartner research, AWS is the leader in the cloud computing space. That means more companies are looking for people who know AWS compared to others. Cloud being a relatively new technology is now a fundamental skill, not only for DevOps professional, but also for all software engineers. The industry wide shift towards cloud computing makes this certification a must have for staying competitive in today's dynamic landscape. I find significant value in pursuing AWS certification or any cloud certification for that matter, because they encourage a thoughtful approach to understanding the fundamental architectural pillars. These certifications go beyond simply knowing cloud technology and its offerings. They also shape your perspective on how to approach system design, tool consideration, and best practices. AWS certification contribute to developing a strategic mindset, emphasizing not just the what, but the how and why of effective system design. For beginners, if you are new to AWS, you can aim for the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certificate first, though it's optional. After that, set your sight on Solution Architect Associate cert Certificate and finally work your way to the SysOps Administrator Associate level. This sequence will provide you with a sol solid foundation and a smooth progression in mastering AWS. For those with experience and looking to advance their skills, consider pursuing the AWS DevOps professional. It's a valuable step to elevate your expertise in DevOps within the AWS environment. If you are still unsure and thinking whether DevOps is the right choice for you, take a look at my previous video title, Is DevOps the Right Career Choice for You? It gives you insight into what is expected as DevOps engineers. For beginners, I have two categories of nice to have certifications, Linux certification and certification in containerization. Linux forms the backbone of many DevOps environments and a significant amount of time for most DevOps engineers is spent working on Linux systems. Therefore, it's important to have a strong understanding of OS concepts, networking, system administration, storage to navigate and troubleshoot effectively in Linux-based environment. The reason for not listing Linux certification as a must-have in 2023 is because proficiency in Linux can often be effectively demonstrated through hands-on experience or existing knowledge. Given that Linux is not a new technology, many individuals may already have a strong understanding of it, making a certification in this specific area less essential for everyone in the DevOps field. Personally, I don't have these Linux certifications, but based on my recent research, it seems that certifications from CompTIA or Red Hat Linux could be good options to consider. I'm inclined towards CompTIA due to its vendor neutral approach. It's a good choice if you want a well-rounded knowledge of Linux without being tied to a specific vendor. However, the choice ultimately depends on your specific goals, so make sure you do your own research before going for it. 
If you are new to the world of containers, investing time in learning Docker and Kubernetes can be a valuable addition to your skill set. Containerization is extensively used in DevOps practices, making these technologies essential for those entering into the field. If you are considering taking your containerization learning to the next level with certification, two excellent options are there: Docker Certified Associate or Certified Kubernetes Administrator. For experienced professional, I would recommend AWS Specialty Certifications as a value addition. Certification in areas like advanced security, networking can be considered as nice to have to further enhance your expertise in specific domains within AWS ecosystem. Optionally, to open opportunities in the DevOps architect role, you can go for AWS Solution Architect Professional Certification. These certifications can significantly enhance your expertise and widen your career prospect in the DevOps domain. Additionally, as many organizations are adopting hybrid cloud solution, it could be valuable to explore and gain certifications from other cloud computing providers. For instance, if you are experienced in AWS, you might consider exploring other providers like Google Cloud or Azure. It's beneficial to focus on hands-on coding and skill improvement instead of running after certifications, especially for languages like Python. Real-world practice working on actual project and commitment to ongoing learning not only make you a better coder, but also offer a more practical and valuable experience than just chasing certifications. Mm -hmm. When you are learning something new, whether it's a programming language, a tool or a technology, having a structured path is always helpful. But here is the thing, getting that structure doesn't have to be all about certifications. You can explore online courses, read books and use various learning resources to give your education a solid structure. It's a good idea to think twice about getting certified, especially in tools, for instance, Jenkins for DevOps. Things change fast in technology and tool-specific certifications might become outdated quickly. It's better to focus on understanding the main ideas and practices in DevOps instead of sticking to one tool. This way you can adapt to new technologies as they come up. Learning from hands-on experience and real projects is often more valuable than just getting certifications. The DevOps world has many different tools, so it's useful to be flexible and learn about various ones rather than putting all your focus on just one. Keep in mind that these are just suggestions. There might be exception to my viewpoint. If you have any to share, then please let me know in the comment below. I'm genuinely curious. In conclusion, certifications are fantastic for your DevOps journey, but they are not the sole answer. Blend them with hands-on experience, explore technologies, and never stop learning. Offer strategic certifications that genuinely enhance skills and career prospects. Make mindful choices, recognize that certifications can be influenced by industry trends, and select those that adds real value to your professional journey. Certification demands commitment, financial investment, and occupy valuable space on your resume. It's crucial to ensure that each certification aligns with your goal and significantly contributes to your skills and career growth. Don't forget to like and stay tuned for more insight. Until next time, keep that positive spirit alive, keep exploring and keep innovating. Looking forward to connecting with you again in the next video. Thank you.